quality improvement project for managing elevated blood pressure in a primary care setting. 36% of adults in the United States have prehypertension, which is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Managing elevated blood pressure, therefore, may have implications to reduce cardiovascular risk for the population. A comprehensive assessment of a primary care setting in San Antonio, Texas revealed that 30% of patients had elevated blood pressures but were not being diagnosed or treated, and 50% of those that were diagnosed did not have an intervention or follow-up plan documented in the chart. Therefore, a quality improvement project was developed in order to address some of the clinical problems encountered in this setting. A quasi-experimental study was conducted. Both components utilized volunteer participants who were not randomized to intervention or treatment groups, but rather served as their own controls. The staff intervention portion of the study consisted of medical assistant clinic staff. The staff intervention consisted of a pretest, an educational intervention, training on a new blood pressure measurement device, and then a post-test two weeks later. The patient intervention consisted of volunteers that reported to the clinic for routine office visits and had average blood pressure readings of 120 over 80 or higher and were not being treated for hypertension. There were 36 participants that completed the study. The patient intervention consisted of a BP True measurement a blood pressure awareness pretest, which included demographics, lifestyle questions, and general blood pressure knowledge questions, an educational handout, and the patients were then scheduled to return for a repeat BP True reading and a post test. Results of the study revealed a statistically significant improvement in post intervention blood pressure readings compared to pre intervention readings. Although specific lifestyle factors were not individually correlated with blood pressure reductions, each patient received a comprehensive introduction to blood pressure management, including dietary and exercise recommendations. The reductions achieved in blood pressure readings support the further use of simple educational interventions in clinical practice. Results of the study also revealed a statistically significant increase in exercise frequency post-intervention. The results of the study also highlighted the importance of staff education as staff post-test knowledge scores significantly improved over the pre-test scores. Utilizing a particular treatment regimen or assessing a wider range of lifestyle changes to manage elevated blood pressures may reveal strong associations with decreases in blood pressure readings post-intervention. Additionally, future research and quality improvement pertaining to patient follow-up would be beneficial as follow-up is an important component of high-quality, effective care.